I knew from an early age that I was different and that something was wrong. But Stephanie Reed says she didn't get the care she needed until she was much older. I started transitioning when I was 37 years old. And the thing is, when you wait that long, things get worse as time goes on. Stephanie says she spent years trying to repress her feelings. When I look at what the youth go through, I see what it is I went through. I see that I didn't have the opportunity that they have today. And that's what Planned Parenthood tries to provide. This is, for many of them, life-saving health care. Missouri Attorney General Andrew Bailey's rule to restrict gender-affirming care for minors and adults in the state was set to go into effect Thursday. The rule would ban all medically necessary treatment for gender dysphoria unless the patient has gone through therapy for an extended period of time. A judge blocked the rule just hours before it was to take effect. You know, there's a, such a growing body of evidence, both in the pediatric and in the adult population, that suggests that access to gender-affirming hormone therapy is one of the most important and critical tools we have to help reduce the rates of suicide. Dr. Colleen McNicholas says that Planned Parenthood will continue its efforts. You know, it's a devastating time for the community, but we will do what we do best, which is fight and provide great, excellent care. This isn't just for kicks. It's nothing small or irrelevant. This is a life-changing thing that we absolutely have to have in order to get by. Stephanie says she's grateful to have had the treatment she needed. I'm so much better off than I was before. It's hard to even imagine who I used to be compared to who I am now.